what's good with y'all it's kimeji back with another video for y'all today today's video is a little different today we got a little sample breakdown from the style of q beats showing you guys all the tips and tricks so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and learn something new let's get straight to it so the first thing to notice is that we're at 102 bpm and the sample really has two sections it has the main intro and then it has the second half starting with the first part i have this guitar that i played out Now before I break down the guitar, I know a lot of you guys may not have a real guitar, so I'll leave a couple of my favorite contact or just VST guitars on the screen that you guys to go get. But even if you do have a real guitar, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to create a melody. So yeah, the first layer. It's literally just one chord chop and I just copied it over and over and then you have the second layer. Again, just another very simple chord chop, just copy it over and over. So the bass is really simple. I just played in the key of the sample and I tried to add these little licks, like these three notes that I played right here. If I just had the sample with this first note repeating over and over and over, it would have been very, very boring for the entire sample. And the last melody. This is also another very important layer because it adds a lot of flavor, a lot of character, a lot of catchy little melodies to the whole guitar. Same thing, I added those little slides. That's pretty much the whole guitar, four layers. If you don't have a guitar VST or a guitar in general and you just wanna use guitar chops, I really recommend using the AYN sound banks. Well, going on to the next step is the effects. I first just added this Schweppes EQ and I just raised the highs, lowered a little bit of the mids, and I lowered, actually raised some of the lows. And this is just for me to clean up the sound a little bit. And then after that, I added this ozone imager. You can see that before it was completely mono. So I just made it more wide. And then I had this compressor. And then lastly, just another EQ, just a stock EQ lowering some of the low mids. So after that, I added Labs, the tape piano felt cassette. And this is a free piano that you guys could all go get. So this MIDI is pretty simple, might look a little intimidating, but I'll break it down so you guys can just replicate it in your own samples. So first I started with the root notes. I just copied the root notes that I had in the guitar down here. And then on top of that, I started to build very simple chords. Next is when it comes to adding a lot of emotion in your samples, whether it's dark or sad or emotional, you always want to use notes that are right next to each other. But I believe these are called tension notes. You know, it sounds like a horror movie, but obviously when you lay other chords and other notes on top, it sounds a lot better. And that's what I did here. And then lastly, I just took the E from down here up an octave, and then I took the B from down here up an octave. So I'm choosing the same notes, just at a higher octave. And that's pretty much it for the first chord, the second chord. I did the same sort of thing. I just took these bottom notes and then up an octave, and then same thing down here. I took these bottom notes down here up an octave, and I'm really just layering. I'm taking the same notes and kind of reusing them, but at different octaves, different velocities, different volumes. Another huge thing I did was I played with the velocity so as you can see the velocities are not static at all all the velocities are all over the place so i just did alt r and then i also did alt s to get this strumming effect but the effects are pretty simple it's very similar to the effects i had on the guitar first i got this rc20 with this custom preset i got from kavi you guys can copy this down if you want just adds a little bit of noise some warmth distortion and wobble then i added this eq again just raising some of the highs raising some of the mids and raising some of the lows compressor same thing with the guitar just trying to compress the volume of the piano then i added this gross beat with this little side chain effect you guys can also copy this down to use in your own samples and then lastly just the eq lowering some of the low mids because they were kind of harsh that was pretty much it after that i added these little vocals Now these vocals come from this vocal I added later in the sample, which I'll get to in a bit. Now for the second section, the switch up. First thing I did is I took the guitar and I exported it with some different effects. It 
it's really filtered out, washed up in chorus and flanger. And I did the same thing where I took the piano, I export it and I changed the sound of it. So I did go a little crazy on the effects for these parts. When I first started with this delay bridge, it's just a regular delay, but it's giving somewhat of like a, a reverb sound. So really just like the name says, it sounds like it's in a bathroom and I wanted a really short, tight delay slash reverb. Next I added this chorus and I made it mono. Then I added this stock flanger, half time of course to slow it down, give it a more mellow type of warm sound. This EQ helping filter out the whole piano, pancake to give it some more movement. And then lastly the compressor, same thing, just to compress the audio. Same thing with the piano for the effects on this one the piano i had it on the same mixer track all i did was i removed the delay and a lot of the chorus type of sound i just had the half time and then just the eq with the compressor and i routed it to another mixer track where i panned it to the left because the guitar was panned to the right so i didn't want them to collide this creates a lot more space in your samples making it a lot more full and i just took some of the highs out to give it that lo-fi feel and i took out some of the lows but that was pretty much the main um part of the entire sample repeating over and over other than that i just added a little text textures and then a couple instruments which next added this bass from the all you need volume one from AYN sounds Now, in my opinion, the most important and the main part of this whole sample was the vocals. This was like the cherry on top. Two Beats Love's had a lot of vocals in their samples and it's really hard for people to recreate the vocals. So here are the vocals that I added for the second half. <laughs> So before I break down these vocals, you guys can get these exact vocals plus a bunch more for free. I have a new vocal kit out right now called Vocal Tapes 1.0. Comes with 21 dry vocals, 21 wet vocals. This is the one that I use right here. So if you want a bunch of vocals in this style, it'll be the first link in the description below. It's 100% free. But getting back to the sample, the vocals are already uh, processed and are already pretty much done for you. All I wanted to add was a little bit of delay and this little um, side chain effect that I used throughout the sample on the guitar and the piano. Simple EQ, kind of filtering it out. What I did with these vocals is I exported them in this Edison right here and I threw these little chops throughout the sample. And the last melody I added was the original guitar. So I just took the main guitar and I pitched it up an octave. That was pretty much it for this whole sample. I just did some arranging. The master had the soft upper making it louder, this little EQ. And then most importantly, I had the sound shifter pitching up six semitones and then detuning it a little bit. Detuning is a little small detail that Qbeats does in almost every sample. You don't want to overdo it, but I just did it by 20 cents. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I exported the final sample into this. That's pretty much it for the whole sample. I really hope you guys did enjoy and learn something new. Like I said, if you want the vocal kit, 100% free vocal kit, with the first thing in the description down below. It comes with a bunch of my other packs too. I got a new website, a bunch of deals. You guys want to go cop anything. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.